is the best gymnast, the most dominant female athlete, maybe female and male athlete in the world today. <sighs> the Olympics, I feel like I don't think about it too much because so much has happened since then, so it's kind of hard to keep up. And I'm just always like, what's next, what's next? I am a gymnastic junkie, a fan, and selfishly, I want to see her back. She's awesome. Besides messing up on beam at the Olympics, the one reason I would want to try and come back is that years from now, 20 years from now, maybe when I, maybe I'll be 40, maybe when I have kids and all of that, I never want to think back and say, wow, I wish I would have tried. I'd rather be like, wow, I tried either succeeding or failed. We'll see how it goes in the end. Oh, well, the last year and a half has kind of been a roller coaster. I've been traveling so much, so I haven't been in the gym, but I also decided to take that time off because there was no way I could travel and do all the things that I was doing. Yeah, so I kind of just traveled all over, doing different things for sponsors or for events or vacationing. And um, we're just having like good family time, I guess. We went on vacation to Belize. We went on vacation to Hawaii. I got to go to um, London. We also got to go to Monte Carlo. And I could have probably gone forever and traveled and kept doing all of this stuff. But we're like, you know what? You need to get down in the gym, start training, because it might take you a year to get back into competition. So you kind of think of it that way. So then that's when we started slowing everything down and then decided to get back into the gym. We were kind of on a coach hunt, so to say, for a while. And Cecile and Laurent had just left their gym. They're from Dallas, Houston, not too, too far. We've heard that Simon uh, wanted to to come back and, and that our name was uh, was mentioned to, to start coaching her. We had a meeting with them to see what and when we would start um, and we just took it from there. But we obviously asked Maddie and then they asked Coach Amy. So we came down here, visit, talk and, uh, and decided that uh, we would put our personal uh, project on the side to, to, to try to help uh, Simone and the gym uh, in here. I thought like my very first day I would at least come in do some conditioning you know leave not be here six hours um, and then I started conditioning and then he's like okay let's go to events and I was telling Laurent I was like you know I have not run down a vault runway since my Olympic vault and I'm like I'm terrified and he's like great well we're going over and you're doing laps I said what I said did you not hear me he goes did you not hear me so let's get started um, so that was kind of the beginning of that. Conditioning wise, she she had a very hard time just doing a leg lift cup just six months ago, and now she does it every day. You know, it's, I think it's it's very important to to be consistent, no matter what you do, you know, in your life, and uh, especially to become successful in that sport. It's very important to come every day, to try to do your best, but on those days when you you don't feel good and stuff. Still being here, even if it's for one or two hours, but at least accomplish something every day. I've actually improved a lot on bars. There's still little ticks that I've had for a while that I can't seem to get rid of. Um, Whenever Laurent was like, how many pairs of grips do you have? I usually always have one extra, and then if I have to use the extra one, I'll order two backups. And then he's like, oh, we're going to order 10. And I was like, yeah, okay. And a box of 10 actually came. So I'm already on my third pair. So that's not bad. We find a good bar routine that I think she can hit very well. And the pressure, I think she can score very well. I think it fits her and uh, I think it can get her even to bars finals, to be, to be fair. And uh, now I need her to believe that. I believe now she has to believe. It's much more uh, building the confidence than anything else. So technique is good enough. Uh, it's, 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 
it's her mind that needs to be, to be trained on that particular event because like, as we well know on the other events, she knows she's good, you know, she knows she can do it. On the bar, she doesn't believe enough, so I, I, I try to help her believe. I felt like Madison. <laughs> well, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I feel like the expectations for me will be a lot bigger just because every time I've gone out I've done what they wanted or what they said might happen. Um, so I've always, so to say, pulled through. My goal for Simone is to stay as healthy as possible, to stay as motivated as possible and to work very, very hard. And I think if she does all that, she'll be very successful, very, very successful. and. and she should win every meet she enters. People think that she is not human, but she's a regular person. And if you try to aim too high as well, uh, she mentally will break down. So we want to make sure that all those goals that we set, even skill-wise or routine-wise, are comfortable enough and they're not too crazy. Even though for the regular gymnast, it's insane what we're trying to do but for her I think it's very important that she knows she can handle it. She can be the best in the world as she, she used to be. The nerves will be a lot scarier this time around but hopefully it'll still be good if I can calm my nerves and compete like I train. It should be good. Some people are having Simone withdrawal. Selfishly I want to see her back. She's awesome.